Yo, what's up? Welcome to the Long House. This is my live stream, and I got some. I'm always getting some questions about how to set up these uh, accelerator hyper tubes that kind of launch me to the top of my five by five. As you can see here, um, we've kind of have this set up over here where it launches me up into the top of my five by five. And people have been asking me, how the heck are you doing that? So I'm going to show you kind of the final product, and then I'm going to walk you through the process. So take a look over here. You can see that I have the entrance coming up through the top over here. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 boosters. Uh, and by boosters, I mean they are the entrances. So if you look in here under transportation, it will be a hyper tube entrance right here in the description. Now, there's been plenty of videos about how to make these Yeet cannons online. However, um, you know, I thought maybe I should have a video on my YouTube about how to do it because people are frequently asking me about that. So um, look, we're gonna go over here and I'm actually gonna make a Yeet Cannon that will get us to the top of our power, my 10 by 10 grid that I'm making for my power. So uh, the first thing that you wanna do is you can go ahead and start with this entrance here, uh, just like a normal one that you would normally take, um, nice and slow, but we're gonna fix that. So let's go ahead and go back down the other way and I will go ahead and begin making it. So. Um, what you're gonna have is you're gonna have an entrance that runs right into this. So you're gonna want to run a hyper tube support there, and then you need a space in between to be able to put a tube. So here's the tube, the tube will go in between, and then you'll simply get rid of that, and you'll make an entrance. And you're just gonna continue that down the line until you get a good amount of speed. Now I could grab the power pole from there and place it right next to it, and then place it here. And then there you go. We should get a little bit faster. See, it was a little bit faster there, but we can continue to test this, and obviously that won't work. Um, and then also, if you go back down the hyper tube, uh, you're not gonna be able to get out because of the block. So what you could do is you could add a little bit of space, and then now you could do the same exact thing one more time. And we will then grab the pole and put it here, okay? And then now we well, should be able to get out. Um, oh, maybe the distance is a little too far still. Uh, but essentially you'll be able to, oh, we didn't put an entrance here. There we go. All right, now we should be able to go. There we go. So we've got a little bit of a boost, but it's still not enough. So we'll come back down here, we'll get out of the tube. Then we will grab another hyper tube support, put it right up against the entrance and then space and then right up against the entrance and space and right up against the entrance and space and right up against the entrance uh, and space. Okay, now uh, I've set up kind of a couple here. So let's go ahead and drop the hyper tubes between. All right, let's get rid of the supports. Let's drop some entrances. Okay, let's drop the power. I like to do it like this. Everybody likes to do their power a little bit differently, but I think this looks pretty good to me. Something super simple, fast, efficient. Let's go ahead and give this another test run here. Let's see how this goes. All right, that's pretty good speed, but still not where I need to need it to be. So we're gonna add a couple more on boosters onto here. I'm thinking maybe, so remember, right up against the entrance, space. Right up against the entrance, space. Right up against the entrance, space right up against the entrance space and then that should be good we're going to try this one lay your hyper tubes down between the entrances get rid of the supports and keep in mind the the devs this was unintended they never intended this to happen it was human ingenuity that figured this out this was never an intended effect they actually don't like it when you do this because you actually move faster than what the map can register and it really does cause problems with the game so let's go ahead and give this a try this has got one two three four five six whoop, save there one two three four five six seven eight nine ten this will be a 10 booster and then remember that other one was 25 but obviously it is way higher right so let's go ahead and give this a whirl all right that's pretty good that's pretty good speed, but it slows down, as you can see up there, pretty significantly at the top. So we're gonna add maybe, maybe, maybe three more should do it. 
All right. Remember, right up against the edge, and then the space, and then right up against the edge, and the space, and right up against the edge, and the space, right up against the entrance, and the space. So we're good there. Let's drop some your hyper tubes. One, two, and three. All right. Get rid of the supports. All right. Put the entrances on. All right. Drag the wire. Let's get them powered. Okay, let's give this a whirl again. See where we're at. Hey, that wasn't bad, guys. So that was a good amount of speed for this distance. So you just gotta kinda do what I did and experiment with it. And um, so just I'll review really quickly again what you wanna do is that you have your entrance. Um, you have your entrance no matter where it is. You're gonna go one right next to it and then a space so you can put the pipe and then put the entrance on and that's really about it so um thank you guys for checking out uh my live explanation of the hypertube entrance uh, booster build um keep an eye out for other uh videos uh, coming out here in the future thank you guys so much and i'll see you guys on the next uh, episode